And slowly but surely, Mouse Sports is gonna make their way into the site. Oh, oh no. that's a good little find from Electronic. He just waited for a long time. He was just patiently waiting to get the first click, and then he's just going to do it. Also, if you notice, Boomich not wanting to stick around and take the fight, would rather try and retake with the whole team, and that so far is a really good idea. He's taking down Frozen, and now Kerrigan falling back. He's out in the open. Boomich will find him, and that leaves Robs, and he's got that P250, but he's in a one versus four, and I don't think he's going to be able to stop this bomb from being defused. Not even close to happening. What a great retake out of Na'Vi. Scout in play as well. So far hasn't really tagged anyone up, but it's such a nice feeling if you could get a couple of tags in, but it will leave the defensive side a little bit more worried. At range, though, the AUG will do everything they want. It could have maybe even been a double kill, and all the way at the back of the B-bomb side, it's Perfecto taking down Chris J, and he'll do even more than that. Great headshot on Woxic, leaving Robs alone in the hallways, and I know he is. I don't even think Mouseports has fired a shot in this round. No, they haven't. <laughs> Maybe some of the deagle spam early on, but that smoke was put up in towards window. Unfortunately, they only had the one. They had to pick connector or window, and it's the wrong selection. What a what a big risk you've taken there, Anders. I know. Very clever of me. Oh, Carrigan will an opening on Boomich. They know Electronic is there, and they're going to catch him just as he tried to put up the smoke grenade. And that was really excellent timing. Perfecto realizing he was very exposed, and actually from behind as well. <laughs> trying to fight at three different angles, and that did not work out well. No, he was hoping somebody would help him at least eliminate one of those angles of danger. And that's a nice, nice hit from Mouse Sports. Pulls to try and retake a two on four. I just, I'm not convinced by that idea either. Maybe just trying to fight for some more damage, but they're not even going to get that. Nice double kill for Frozen. I can't believe Navi's given him this much space to work with. That is an easy pick off and plant. Nice job from Chris J finding his timing just perfectly. Electronic is inside of the smoke. Oh, Chris has traded places with them. And there it is again. More impact. Three players remaining for Navi on the retake. And they still have to clear out ROPS. That smoke is not even close to good enough. No, you could easily see if someone's going to try and defuse that. They're in a lot of trouble here. Might even be able to see some of the legs coming through. There. What? Walks it, missing it. He's going to double. <laughs> He's actually scoped in on those knees. And Robs will take care of it. A wonderful triple kill, assisted by Woxic a bit. From them progressing past the middle portion, you have Electronic and Flamey doubled up here. There's a chance, and Flamey not peeking wide enough. No return just yet. There he is. Comes in for one kill. A good trade, but there's still catwalk control for Mouse Sports. Simple is trying to find a timing over towards window, but it's Kerrigan who's going to turn the corner, and that's a great headshot. Simple just hears it at the last second. Flashbang is even better, and this teamwork from Mouse Sports is on point. Yeah, I mean, the, the fact that Boomich, the way that he went down kind of illustrates why Simple couldn't go for that peak in the uh, earlier round. A bit of money. They could definitely afford to go on a bit of a hunt here if they want to. What a, what a turn around, and Kerrigan, that's a quick headshot as well, taking down Flamey. It's all working out incredibly well right now for Mouse Sports. They're about to take a fourth round in a row. Uh, which is always very fun to see. Frozen, uh, he's got to know Boomich is there, but no, he pulls the smoke out. One more kill for Boomich. The bomb rolls to his feet, and now it's on. One boost up in the window, going to get a flank in, so this defense has to get aggressive right now. They need to pounce on this opportunity, and Chris Jay's taken down from behind. Wow, that was so unlike anything that Mouse Sports has done in the previous rounds. They were just all stood there taking fights with Boomich one at a time. There was no grenades or anything to really help them out. That could have very nearly cost on the round there. It's still on though. 30 seconds in a two on three. And they must know all the Navi members are somewhere in the middle here. Nice flick coming in, but he loses his teammate at the same moment. And I think that definitely does it. But that is a good stop from Boomich at top connector. And it's that one timing of pulling out the smoke right when Boomage peak. We don't want to try and revisit, is it? They already had a couple of rounds like that. Don't want to go back to that space. Kerrigan charging the bomb site. He's going to go down to Boomage, but surely Boomage is not going to be staying alive too much longer. Frozen finally takes him down, but the defense is just amazing at this bomb site here. Simple with the AWP landing two big shots. He gets baited out just a little bit with a shoulder of Frozen, but he can't continue that fight, and he's going to go down to Flamey. Ooh, fast pace towards B. I like it. They don't have all the uh, all the weapons they'd want. They have a Tech Nine as well. They're running and gunning and they can't find the kills. It's Flamey and Perfecto instead. Really good defense. Getting the first two kills and slowing down the push. And now it's kind of trivial. Rob's with a, with a nice headshot in the middle, but I don't think it's going to make any difference at all. So I think both teams at the moment are going to be happy with their position. Obviously, if Mouse Sports can get up to five rounds while also losing the pistol, that's that's a phenomenal, phenomenal T-half to have on, on Mirage, it would feel like.
Oh, it looks like Kerrigan wanted to be playmaking this position. And actually, he walks right in and shoots Boomich at the back. What is that defense? Uh, that it's an atrocious defense. Uh, that would be the best answer I have for you. Uh, maybe a lack of defense entirely. Simple is still pinned down at the default boxes. Electronic is his support. Both of them are low on red HP. Although Simple's hurt all the footsteps. That's a great shot. A quick one. Now we must find Kerrigan. Not able to do it. Another triple kill. Another entrance provided by Kerrigan. Swaps out to the M4 as well. And Rops is there to cut off the rotations. It's perfecto against three. He's going to get the first. Yeah, Molotov will uh, well put a little bit of pressure on Frozen. I actually thought maybe it would force him into the fight, but that's not going to happen. Robs will shoot him in the back instead, but never really got a chance for it. Flamey faking out the bomb a single time, probably a little bit worried that someone was going to snipe him from over there, and actually he has no coverage, so if somebody had peek, it could have ended up badly. I like this aggression, but they weren't counting on Woxig in the corner. Boomich still finding a way out. That was a one versus two fight for him with a Glock, and he somehow made it out alive. That's pretty impressive, and now it's a three on three. Here we go, and plenty of good positions for Navi. They should not be able to lose this unless there's a mistake in the peak. Bomb is tapped, there goes Boomich. Good shot from Frozen, but still simple and Electronic to find. Electronic gonna sink back onto the ramp, force Rops to commit to it. I think this is the round. I think even Frozen knows it, even with the kit, he's so far away, and it's not gonna happen. Simple gonna peek out as well. There goes Frozen off the bomb, eight to five, both pistols won by Navi. They're going to find a very easy victory. It's just Rops here with that scout. Holy hell, I say easy. Maybe it's not quite that easy. He tags two more. Oh, he tags a third. That is spectacular from Rops. Still going to be so tough to get into this, but it's doable. They've got all the tags, and they stop the bomb from going down. 14 seconds now. That was a long-range shot coming out from Frozen. But no one's on that bomb plant right now. And again, they're very exposed. Bomb is going to be stopped again. And the round is being won by Mouse Sports. That was spectacular. I cannot believe Rops did so much damage. They knew where he was from the first shot on. Works. I, th I think it might be, Jason. Give it a chance. Uh, oh, and Kerrigan swings just at the perfect time, but boom, it's hitting some absolutely disgusting deagle shots, taking down Frozen and Kerrigan. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, what a great opening. And now an M4 is picked up by Perfecto. The young gun has got to do something. He's got a perfect fight. Two players on catwalk. That's an important kill from Rops. And Boomich, 5 HP. He's waiting. He knows at least one has got to be coming from market. And Woxic hasn't shown himself just yet, waiting for his teammate to get close. And if they play this perfectly, if they play this together and it doesn't even matter. Boomich has to take a risk somewhere and it's an easy kill for Rops. So round number seven for Mouse Sports. Yeah, maybe that is it. It does suck if you're pushing three people to top mid and they're executing in the A-bomb side at the same time. That's that's never that much fun. Ooh, Rops, that was a big giveaway. I think he definitely had the opportunity there, but it looked like he was almost caught sleeping, which is a bit odd because he was the one being aggressive. And they're just gonna clean up the entire mid. Maybe this is why they're not. Why are they? Why are they defending middle, Jason? I'm switching. <laughs> I'm turning it around. It was always the timing of it was also very disjointed. There was like one player who wanted to fight in middle, fell back into the smoke, and the deagle came through. So I don't think it was Mouse Sports' most glorious. It's just Waxic, one versus five. He's. You imagine he's about to be spotted. He's about to be dropped. Good shot from Electronic. He's blocked off by a smoke for the moment. Late mid pressure, late mid aggression, and a double kill for Rops, but it's two for two. I think Navi is going to be just fine with this so far. Yeah, that's generally going to favor them quite a bit, but that's a nice kill from Woxic. He saw that coming. He realized there'd been some pressure in middle, and Flamey has been pretty aggressive uh, both there and at the A ramp. No one's at A. Simple hears the rotation as well. Oh, he's going to spot one up in the window. Good spray control. He knows one's at B and he knows one's in CT spawn. This is dangerous. Nade is out as well. Kerrigan has a great chance to shut down Simple immediately. Coming through the murder hole. There's the shot. There's the kill from Kerrigan. He has to know where the next player was going to be coming from. Instead, he's waiting for the walk-in. He can see the shadow if they come around the corner. Oh, oh. but Kerrigan ducking right under that shot. This is prime. This is his moment to shine. Oh, and he's got the first. Nice shot. Now, here comes that split. Frozen with one more. And Woxic is handling it like it's no big deal. However, Simple's put into play with the AWP. Flamey gonna plant the bomb. Default for Catwalk. Kerrigan's position is not found. Oh, this is so smart from Kerrigan. He's got the kill. Took him a little bit of extra time. But now it's Simple. The no-scope. Close range. One versus two. But Rops has him locked in. A tenth round for Mouse Sports. Now just one away. 
Yeah, again, Navi, I mean, this is just typical Navi, running the clock down so very low, and how many chances are they going to have? Going to try and plant this bomb without committing to the site. Good hold from Flamey. He's got the peek from Rops. There's the up. Waxic was moving. All the kills going the way of Navi, and they might have just done it. 11 to 10. Bomb is planted. Four versus two, and Mouse Sports can't get away. They might as well go for this, because there's no escape. Yeah, you might as well just go all in. There's no point in really uh, waiting around here. Kerrigan pushing forward and not really getting anything through the box. He's going to go down to Flamey. I think he was being double peaked. And now there's a flank coming in as well. It's a good double kill for Simple in the round and Flamey. They forgot forgot their lunch, Jason. What? Very bad news. They're going to have to oh. go back and get it. And when they do, there's going to be a nasty surprise waiting for them. Kerrigan standing up and Simple, no chance. Kerrigan ducking back down. But again, 35 seconds here. Oh my god, what a round out of mouse sports here. Perfecto doing a lot of damage on the other side of the map. But again, Kerrigan just, you know, buying a lot of time and getting that kill. That's huge. Play me, it would be godlike if you could clutch this one versus three. No, there's there's no chance. He's got to run most of the way. And Rops wisely pushed up towards a ramp so he could get the information to confirm that Flamey was coming to this bomb site. That's an easy win. Rops and Market can spin. Frozen in the back of B and Kerrigan hiding in the corner. Flashbang does nothing to Kerrigan. No Molotovs on either. There's finally one a bit late. That Boomage ran through. Kerrigan gets the kill. But yeah, it's hard for Rops to stop. Oh. He turns and gets shot in the back of the head. Oh my god, the timing is unbelievable. Frozen is down as well. And it's a 2 on 2. Mouse Sports almost making it back into overtime. Almost completing the comeback here. But they might fall just a round short. This is going to be a bit rough. No bomb plant at the moment. They're actually waiting and just frozen in time here. Woxic sneaking in. Great headshot to take down Perfecto. But now it's Flamey. One on one, and he Ooh. swings for it and takes him down 13 to 11, and now we win the first map. There, but if Perfecto wins the fight on Catwalk, it's, it's a lot of trouble. He's holding off for the minute, and now they're going to try and see if they can fight Walks. He ducks down to try and stay covered, but it is not enough. They swing wide against him, and he goes down to Flamey, and that should give them a bomb plant here. Big lead right now for Navi. Oh, yeah, Woxic never got any of the support he desperately needed. Simple, gonna peek up with that P250, misses the chance. That's unusual, but Kerrigan and Frozen are so low on HP. And still, Mouse Sports not able to make it up quite yet. There's the flank from Perfecto, one for one. Rop's about to turn the corner, and there's Flamey, still over towards Goose, still waiting. Electronic has got his long covered. He's looking for that player to peek from up top, and there's the kill. It's all on Rop's. He has a kit, and this is very doable. One on one, missing the shots. It's just a head showing, and I think... I think Flamey should just have it. One to nothing for Navi. That's all three pistol rounds thus far won by Navi. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Molotov, grenades, forcing Kerrigan out. They definitely knew. Oh, but a nice return. Look at this. It's Woxic, Frozen, and Chris all getting a kill each. One of those was a nice eagle headshot, and that might actually give them a bit of a chance in this round. Frozen will go down, but the bomb awkwardly dropped, and Simple has to risk a lot trying to go and get it, and that's really awkward. The deep grenade landing on Simple. Oh, he survives it somehow. That's pretty surprising. I thought he would have been dead already. Robs, can he do anything with the deagle? He's got the right idea. There's the shot to take down Boomich and Simple in a one versus three with no health at all, and that is not going to work out in his favor. The jump is in, and it's Woxic. <laughs> Nicely done. A 1-4, but they're going to the other side of the map. This time, it's towards B-Halls. Oh, they're going to run right through the later stage of that Molotov. Some damage is taken, but the flashbangs are effective, and Rops inside the site can only get the one. That is so worth it. You could tell Mouse Sports were not prepared, and I, they shouldn't even be going for this. That's, that's a 3 versus 4. I, this looks like they're going to go for it. This is, this is weird. Kerrigan dropping a flashbang in. Here they go through the window. Simple right below it misses his chance. Frozen gets the first kill. But still, the kills aren't coming fast enough. It doesn't matter that they've made their way in. They're not actually progressing anywhere. And it's all Woxic. That AWP is going to get lost, whether by an AK or by the bomb. It doesn't matter. Admirable attempt from Woxic, but he goes down anyways. Molotov is perfect. Boomich is isolated for the moment. A bit of a flashbang, yeah. He is a little bit isolated, but he's gonna get a headshot anyway. And Kerrigan going Ooh. down, and what a nice follow-up. Frozen falls right next to him, and that's a fight that they needed to win out there, because that leaves Woxic alone in a very, very tough position. In fact, he takes, I think, like a step that was just one step too far backwards, and he's dead. Uh, with a cool solution, but it's kind of been a long-standing thing on Dust2 now. Been a while where the metagame is... There was a point in time when... 
And now they can split this B bombsite because reinforcements are so far away. And they now have Boomage and CT spawn to cut off those rotations. They just have to crack in. There's the trade. Chris can do nothing. And Navi have delivered another knockout punch. Waiting a long time, and I think Mousebot's just getting, a, you know, a little bit confused in that moment, but that kind of a beast plate is so powerful, and again, they had a they had a pretty heavy weight towards the A-bomb side, and they just, they, I mean, once that B-bomb side falls, there's no point in even trying to go anywhere. This would be a great time to have some kind of surprise upset in the round, otherwise, again, they're starting to fall really far behind. It's not going to be inside of the Molotov Electronic will take down three. One of them blind there, as you could tell by those new wonderful icons. And in the middle, oh, I'm shocked. That's a USP, still won the fight. Yep, that's just Chris J tapping away. Deagle's doing some work as well. Now they're going to have to fight for this control of the bomb site. Still a long way to go for Mouse Sports, but Chris J is here. That is a perfect flashbang. Chris J is going to get to the site. Good headshot. Electronics low. That's the bomb. Now it's doable. If he could find the right timing. The bomb is still awkwardly down there. He finds Perfecto and wins the fight. There's the headshot. Now it's electronic. Long range with the AWP, but Chris, he doesn't have to peek. I mean, he knows that bomb is going to be planted at some point. Electronic actually goes forward, and Chris will take him down. Quad kill and a clutch. Looking down the site as he pushes towards Catwalk, it's Boomich who's been on point with his AK. Actually, oh, that's too fast for Boomich to recover from. And the elbow is showing, but it's an op. Kerrigan goes down. Woxic has to commit to one or the other. He's stuck in between Long A and Catwalk. And there's safety at neither. Yeah, he's he's in a lot of trouble right now. He has to have a long sequence of just perfectly timed peaks here. Or he's going to be dead. Flamey? Oh, wow. Well, then, forget all I said. <laughs> he just rolled into that fight. All the tips and tricks. Uh, you can you can bind it with something else. So every time you jump, I'd happily do that. You'd be the analyst. Oh, nice shot from Simple through the smoke as well. That's got a sting for Chris J. Electronic has made it out. Oh, there's a preemptive Molotov there. Good job from Frozen, but again, the risk. Just not worth it. There's no reward, and Woxic has to stick around. Flashbang's coming out. He's blinded by so many. He still managed it very well. Can he add a third kill? Creeping to the corner, trying to bait out the shot, and Simple's too fast. What a tall order for Woxic. I don't know how he's meant to do more than he already did there. Great double kill for him, but it just wasn't enough. I mean, they're really far behind at this point in time here, Mouse Sports. But the AK-47 is actually the best weapon they'll have in the next round. Bomb side four out long. They have that AK-47 and really not that much else to work with. Pretty good Molotov to force Perfecto forward. Oh, but everyone is flashed. It doesn't matter. Frozen still able to pick him off. And that's a nicely won fight. But look at the adjustment and the instant reaction coming out here from Navi. Trying to see if they can split that bomb side. They take down Rob's inside of B. And yeah, they're in a lot of trouble here. Mouse Sports, even though they got the early kill. Yeah, I mean, it's the other side of the coin, right? Even when Mouse Sports do win the fight, Navi gets the information of how many bodies are at long, and they just bull rush into the B bomb site where there's no support for the defender. They have to clear him out somehow, but they don't have the time to go hunt him down, so he is just going to be a nuisance, and you can see what it does to the mindset. That's a nice boost. Good double kill for Simple at the end. They don't have a lot of uh, space to turn this around, but if they can win the pistol, it would make a bit of a difference at least. Flamey sat just staring into the distance off of the horizon while people are shooting at him. Perfecto, though, doing a lot to bring it back. Big double kill coming through as they try and cross over that door into the bomb site. There's the tap. No grenades thrown yet. They're thinking about it. And those grenades... Oh, the second one will work. Amazing stuff. Oh my god, this is incredible. That's actually such a cool plan from Navi. One nade went to the default plant spot, the other went to that double stack, and simple spamming through the smoke does the damage for the nades to clean it up. 10 to 3. <laughs> yeah, it's different on the other side. Out mid we go, Kerrigan with the deagle. He's been spotted already at car and perfecto. He's gonna get a flashbang from his teammate this time. It's Flamey, and Flamey's is perfect. And there's Simple on the flank off Catwalk. He's going to dispatch with two. Killed through the door, but it's just frozen left. One versus four. Nice shot on a Perfecto. Immediately traded, and Navi holds strong. Interesting up to try and catch Frozen, and he is right there, but he snuck past. Don't think Simple realizes yet. Is he going to be quick to react? He will be. That's a nice flick to take down Frozen. Yeah, odd timing as well, especially if you're Frozen, because Chris J was just coming up the ramp. If that was a little bit later from Simple, I think that might have been traded. 
Chris Jay's alive on the site. He's looking for a boost, looking for a jump. Oh, and he takes a dink in the side of the head. Another one from Boomich, jumping as well. And Rops now has to get aggressive. Another tag. But Boomich has just done so much with this SMG. Information, two kills, and then he was the bait right at the end. Woxic's going to go down, and Navi marching. Oh, I like this. I yeah. like this from Chris Jay. Press the issue. Gets nothing, spots a couple, but hasn't been able to find the kill. Boomage is crucially going to hold on to long, and this is such a powerful retake position as well to add on. It eliminates the, the ability to play on the ramp if you're Chris J. Oh, he's lucky to be alive still. Oh, and this is a shot that he wants. This is a fight that Boomage wants. He can just crouch and hide for as long as he wants if he needed. Yeah, that's going to put an end to Chris, and that means only two people left here. Oh, nice spray down. Woxlick with a big double. And he's still alive here. He needs to find the next two to find the quad and also the clutch. And I don't know, simply solo on health. He almost just has to go for it, swing for it, and it'll take him down. And on the other side, Boomich is there with the defuse, and that will be 13 rounds and a win on Dust 2 for Na'Vi. Spot starting on the T side. They have a smoke and uh, actually two smokes and a Molotov and they're rushing the ramp and all the bullets are being missed by Flamey. He's got maybe two more seconds to live and maybe not even that. He's done. Yeah, but they've been able to recover these situations previously. And Simple's already made his way downstairs. He's got a teammate over towards the windows as well. Electronic is now down. The C's out in this position can be so deadly. None of them are dropping. Simple knows everything. Electronic's gonna hide into the corner. Simple's gonna put a stop to the plant. And Electronic pounces as well. Now he can spin back around. One more headshot for Simple. He's down to one health, but somehow still alive. And he's going to get another one, taking down Chris. What a magnificent triple. <laughs> at the end, on a single point of health. What a god. Probably a, a, a risk that Na'Vi are happy to take. And there's a Famas instead, winning the fight against Kerrigan. Yeah, it's a good find, though, on the simple. That's a nice pick. And now, I mean, the arsenal of Na'Vi is a bit weaker. Three SMGs and one Famas. Oh, what a timing for Chris J. He couldn't complete any of it. They saw both players. And again, the SMG delivers a dink. Mouse Sports finally have cracked into this upper bomb site, But Flamey is rotating up the ladder. Rops is there. Gives away his position. This is going to be a tough retake. Man, that was... um. I mean, that almost spun out of control when Chris didn't get those kills. Chris might think this is clear. That's a nice light shoulder peek. Remember, Kerrigan's already close up. Simple could be in trouble, but no, he looks for it and he finds Kerrigan. Yeah, that was pretty bold. Again, and Rops is in a lot of danger with this lurk. Wow. Okay. All right, then. Electronic having a field day outside and Simple as well. This is... There's no damage right now being done at all to Navi in the round. Just mouse sports members getting picked apart and... And that's, that's them not building anything. Still, no other action across the map uh, afterwards to follow up on that. Kerrigan going to try coming through the smoke in towards mini. Electronic is there, ready and waiting. Oh, they get a kill on Simple. Nice shot from Chris. They saw that coming. That could have been a pretty beautiful lineup from Flamey if he'd have been allowed to continue. But they're still rotating very quickly down, catching them in the window. The lineup is there for Electronic. A big double. And that leaves Robson Frozen alone. Man, if they had got through the window, they might have been able to catch that fight and win it. But instead now, they're in a lot of trouble. I can't believe Electronic is still alive. And he's going to get a quad kill in the round, leaving Frozen in a one versus three. How do Mouse Sports not win this round? Yeah, why not? Give him a chance here. Some shots being wrung out. Oh, but it gets taken away. They will recover the situation just fine, but electronic. But there's a two-man defense here. Perfecto and Simple still in the upper bomb site. Electronic is outside. He'll have a quick rotation. That's a good find. Frozen trying to come back up, and oh no! A rare miss from Simple is an opportunity for Mouse. First kill for Kerrigan. He was 007 before then. Perfecto going down. That's a second one for Kerrigan. I guess once the uh, once it rains, it pours. Something like that. Flamey now. Uh, or, well, sorry. Not Flamey. Yeah, it's Flamey. One versus three now. I was going to say Electronic. Nearly with the chance to maybe flank them inside of, uh, of Mini there. But not going to happen. If we look at how low Rops is. If Kerrigan goes down, Kerrigan absolutely must stay alive. Must play this perfectly. He's on for a triple kill. Flamey. Gonna turn that corner way too quick. This is a must-win map for Mouse Sports if they want to continue in the Grand Finals. Boomich again on top of the hunt. Oh, Rops! He got blind by his own flash. That's gonna be frustrating. His own teammate, I believe it was. Perfecto and Boomich doing a spectacular job. And Mouse Sports, they had the entrance. They had Rops inside of the site. 
and it all came crumbling down. Oh, and they take him down. He was, he was feeling... Yeah, that could have gone horribly wrong. Now, over at the ramp, there's four people on the other side. Flamey, he's either going to get shut down with nothing, or he's going to have himself a really good day, but the damage already being up. But all simple showing up in time to get a big double kill. Now, the flames will consume him, but still, that's a two on three. And I don't know, that could have been so much worse if simple hadn't shown up. I don't, maybe Simple didn't hear the footsteps. Maybe he was just too far away in Warehouse in the garage outside. I thought for sure he would have known. And it has to be right now. There's 40 seconds left. So, I mean, he's going to have to get a kill, relocate, do more. There's one of them. Electronic was low. Oh, what a headshot coming out from Woxie. This is beautiful. Needs one more for the quad kill and the clutch. And that would be something perfecto. He's coming in from all the way on the other side. So, Woxie actually with a very, very good chance of doing this. He's going to close the door. Oh, no, it opens again. Might have wanted to play a bit of a game he finds him there's the quad and the clutch well done no they've got they've got really really no toys kerrigan and Waxic already down below flamey's pushed up saw a little bit of leg how much more can he get just the one kill but look at the lobby crutch coming in boomich finds a kill that's rops and frozen cannot watch the flank he's got the bomb so he has to bail out and and give away this ground to navi yeah, probably a good idea that he fell back. Oh, Kerrigan goes down. No, not like this, Mouse Sports. They had it lined up. They could have won three in a row, which when you say it like that is not even that impressive, but... <laughs> but they should but have. They needed to... But it's to. all they got. Well, here we go. There's a flashbang from Perfecto. The Tech-9 there on Simple. I absolutely love it. Let's see what he can do. They're not even checking the bomb site. They've just sent Electronic in to kill people inside of A. And that was apparently enough. Fair play, I guess. <laughs> Get that easy. I guess so, yeah. So, so three, three maps, six pistol rounds. None of them won by Mouseport so far. Um, four on four, and uh, this is, uh, I don't know, again, one of the chances maybe for Mouse Sports. If they could turn it around, um, everyone would be excited. We could get to see more maps played. And looks like they're going to be able to win this round. Some, some isolated kills. I think everyone was confused about where the enemy was in this round. Yeah, Navi got really spread across the map, which isn't necessarily always a bad thing, especially on Nuke. I think the verticality can make that a super confusing situation for the defenders, but obviously winning all their fights. So well done. Electronic needs to provide that opening. It's not going to happen. Double kill for Rops. He'll have a chance for three. It's a MAC-10, and Perfecto just trying to commit to the bomb site. He is dropped. There's Woxic, definitely spotting it out, and he's got some uh, backup in there as well. A bit of an off angle for Robs, and they don't even check it. Perfecto is so zoned in on that orb. Bit of a swing, a simple will revenge the kill. And this is a distraction in itself. This is perfect. He can even hear the footsteps in the upper bombsite. Chris J, just like last round, going to push in towards lobby. See what he can find. There's a lot of time. I'm 40 seconds of the clock. And again, Navi's slow playing this. No, Waxic's going to be able to get that pick. Chris J needs to hold on to Hunt. That's the last element of danger. A second player coming in now. It's Waxic and he's going to peek. He's going to hear them going back towards ramp room. Yeah, Frozen there to try and catch him. A nice mid-air kill. He tr tries to continue the spray, but it's Boomich now with low health and 20 seconds. And I don't know. There was a definite chance here for Navi. Not so sure that's the case anymore. Waxic will find a double kill. It's just felt like it for a little bit. Ooh. Smooth handling of the situation here from Rob's. Not that worried about anything. Well, now... Then. The nice thing is, now we get a test uh, for Navi in a situation where we hadn't seen them tested in the first half of Nuke. We didn't see them tested at all on Dust 2. But they've got to find a way to grind back some rounds on this T side. They still need three to win this map, to win these grand finals. This is disgusting. Good shots from Simple, but one more wrapping behind him that he has no idea about. Still, Kerrigan is just playing the bait, and Simple's bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. Didn't even need the flank to come into play. Rops is up next. And this is such a hard angle for Boomich to clear, but he's going to do it anyways. A hard clear at that. 
Oh, and look at Flamey holding the ladder. If anyone actually tries to go down, this could be really interesting. This could absolutely be devastating. Let's see how quick they are to react. There's the top of the head showing a little bit of a distraction. There's Flamey now coming into play. And this is just a great, great setup for Na'Vi in the two on three. No oh. one help, but how is Frozen going to do this? He's got no grenades to get rid of them. He's out in the open. He's going to get the one kill and almost catches Boomish. That is so close, but I think he knows how much trouble he's in and he's going to have to back on out. An 11th round for Na'Vi. What a great round. Navi never gave up on that one. The first two rounds of this half behind the pistol, then they've won this last round, but that's it. Otherwise, it's been a little bit mute. And look at the aggression. Robs is done with it. He's just tired of it. Keeps pushing, keeps fighting, and that might have been almost a bit too much. It's kind of great. All the utility's been used by Navi, and no one from Mouse Sports was there. They don't have it for the post plant now, and here comes the retake. Simple stuck out in the open. They might have burned a little bit too much time, but Electronic has a chance. Woxic with the peak with the AWP. Electronic's not looking, and there's the kill. He would have had Frozen, but no time for the second. Oh, here we go. Meister. Oh, Meister, Boost Meister, Tech Nine Meister. Here we are into the bomb site. Everyone's blind. There's flames everywhere. There's smokes. Everyone's confused. And Navi's starting to crack in. Rops is going to grab one from on top and into a two on two again. Oh, Boxic dropping down and losing a little bit of health for it. They have that AK on simple, but could Flamey find another gun? That would probably be really helpful. They're going to go for a bomb plant towards uh, the, the main part of the map here or the main part of the bomb site. Oh, and the grenade. And throwing it out, and it's not going to matter at all. Frozen, not even smoked off at all. If they feel like they have a lead in this round, well, why not just try and get that bomb down and see if you could stop Mouse Sports from being uh, being that successful in the retake? Oh, <laughs> what a nice drive by. He's so disgustingly good with this weapon. And then Woxic to take down Flamey. The Molotov is going to force Chris out, and he still wins the fight. I can't even really explain that. Simple is going to go down, and that is another round. Tied up at 11-11. Oh, this is so, so crazy. Frozen right around the edge. Boomich is going to drop down. There's the peak, but can he get away? Can he get away? He gets a second. And Rops adds one at the same exact time. Three quick kills for Mouse Sports puts them in a four on two advantage to take the map. Second time we've seen Frozen out there uh, doing a lot of work in that forward position in the corner and Flamey going down. And this seems to be all done here. Who would have thought Mouth Sports, who did not like, look like they could do much of anything, winning no pistol rounds, but still winning the map 13 to 11, and that'll put us on train. Well, yeah, all the way into the B-bomb site uh, on the connector, and then I think they're going to three-way crunch it. Nice opening from Simple with the P250. This is just, this is the beginning of it. All the rest are coming out, either from Pop Dog or from Main, while they're hoping to have that smoke distract in the C-connector, but it's still a fight here, four on four. Yeah, and someone is going to have to challenge Simple. It's Woxic to take him down, but look at the progress they've made outside. Two defenders on the bomb train still, and Woxic is forced back. And this Navi machine is just marching forward. Nothing to stop them. The Glocks not connecting quite yet, but Woxic with no HP to stick in a fight. Could have been a big opening there for Robs, but he gets tagged and he's down to 12. Woxic is low on health, and Navi, in spite of a long and kind of slow fight against the USPs, they actually come out on top pretty heavily, and that's a kill for Electronic. Now they're finally going to get the bomb plant down, and man, I don't know, like th that whole setup, uh, what is that? Seven for seven in pistol rounds going to Navi. 30 seconds on the clock. There's going to be no illusions when these smokes start to come through. Mouse Sports knows exactly what's happening. Oh, Chris J catches one right in the face, and Rops catches the MAC-10. Still on top of the train, can only get the one, and the bomb site is lost. Kerrigan's desperately trying to get involved in the action, but he's already been spotted. That was a devastating flashbang that landed on top of him there. I mean, he couldn't do anything, really. It's surprised he even got the one kill. Now they're in a lot of trouble. But a nice kill from Boxing. Oh, Kerrigan, he needed the swing and get that one. And now instead, Perfecto with a beautiful double in return. The flashbang high up, and they've caught Boxing as well. He's trying to escape, but he won't be allowed to. Big win for Na'Vi here. Maybe you do. Off angle, he's sick and back. He's looking behind him. Hmm. Huh. We'll never know what he was looking for, and and apparently we'll just never learn. Frozen getting a kill there. That's uh, a really amazing beginning of the round here for him. A third one, and I mean no time and no chance at all. No one dies on mouse sports. What a brilliant round from them. Perfect timing for it here. It's gonna have to be lightning fast. Just crouch into the fight. Oh, he's getting a teammate to jump and they get Woxic. That is beautiful. And they take down Kerrigan. Frozen still back here. And Chris has also shown up. He's gonna drop the bomb. 15 seconds now on the clock for this one versus three. And it's some nice shooting out of electronic, but it is not enough. 
Does Could not. miss its mark, yeah. Molotov smokes down, flashbang as well. Waxic takes a blind shot, not gonna land. Rops is picked off by Electronic. That's a filthy angle. Yeah, that actually did look disgusting. I have no idea how you were able to see him. Bomb goes down in a bit of a, an orthodox angle. Out in the open could be very hard to defuse, but not if you're getting all these kills. That'll make it incredibly easy. They catch off Perfecto and Navi. Good entry into the bomb site, and that was the last good thing that happened in the round for them. This is a round where they're not going to be slow because that would just be completely senseless. When you've got Mac 10s and Tech 9s, you should be running and shooting at the same time. And they kind of are, but they're not killing anyone. And that's another uh, crucial element. Ooh, Frozen tapping away. One more in team mid. Boomich has already made his way to old hell. He's caught at an off angle, but Simple finds him in trade. Now he's got an AK-47. One versus three. And if he had the bullets, that would have at least been the first kill on an attempted clutch. Still waiting inside. Kerrigan has shown up as well. And Navi, they just actually, they've let run out of grenades. They're not throwing any smokes or anything. And that is just, that's incredibly bold. Well, Simple's going to have to get this bomb planted. That smoke is going to clear and Flamey is waiting. He wants to take the fight with Chris J. And he might regret this decision. Oh, it's a missed shot. Simple's going to get him in return. What a great shot from Simple to keep this dream alive. Nobody's watching the flank. There's one kill from Voxic and Frozen. That's poor timing for Flamey. That's going to be the round over. Electronic is coming from Ivy, but there's no chance to stop any defuse. Yeah, I mean, they don't have a, a kit right now, but again, he's just so far away that they're going to be on it all the way through. And yeah, even the 10 second defuse is going to go in his favor. That is wild. I th like no fake at all. This is a classic Navi round. Chris going to be sneaking up, getting the kill on electronic. I what? I there's there's 15 seconds. They haven't even started moving. Yeah, I don't know what to say. This is just incredibly optimistic. Rob's down here. He's going to be dropped. Perfecto going down. Bomb being planted with just three seconds left. And it will be a bomb planted at the very least. Now the retake is on and they'll get Kerrigan as well. Now we have absolutely no business even trying to win this round. In fact, they should surrender this round because <laughs> of how stupid that fake was in the beginning. But somehow they're still here. Flamey and Boomwich in a two on three. And they're hiding all the way up the corner here. This, is, this could be interesting for Boomwich. No one's going to check it, but they will. Frozen continues his absolute reign of terror. He's currently 13 and 6. And Mouse Sports will win the round. I. Oh, good kill there from Oxic. Maybe some, like, some friends of theirs have just missed with their timers. So they keep thinking there's a minute more left than there actually is. And it's just like a prank. Okay. Yeah, they changed their watches or something. Something like that. Wouldn't it? Three on five. And if you ever want to know how important the T side puts on train is in MR12. Just hit tab because, well, you, viewers can't, but I mean, it's been four rounds, one off the pistol, and the, the first four rounds of the half won by Navi, and it's pretty much been all mouse sports from there. This is going to be a seven to one run to close out the half. Simple just now getting put into play, but I mean, this round is way too far gone. It's going to be seven to five in the favor of mouse sports at the end of train, or first half of train. That was brilliant. Carrigan actually heard him drop the weapon and he just went for the, for the peak. All right, simple oh, and perfecto. On perfecto. Oh, yeah, dear. that's nasty. That's nasty. Here comes the noise. There's the nade, simple. He's got to hold his ground. Oh, it's just perfect. It is absolutely perfect again. They're going to go 0 for 8 on pistols. Frozen, who has been very, very good on this map, charging all the way back here. He actually does get a tag on Boomich and the bomb. That'll give them a bit oh, of no. a chance here at the very least. Frozen picking up more kills. He's finally going down. And Kerrigan all the way back here. Now, they do have a smoke. They have a diffuse kit. They can definitely 100% force Kerrigan into this fight really early on. And that's going to be hard. In fact, Electronic will just take him down. No forcing needed at all. Be one of those things. Maybe even the double orb if they really feel it. Electronic pushing forward. And he can't see anything. He managed to do a bit of damage. And Flamey will at least follow up on the kill on Kerrigan there. But Boomage. Edge. Oh, that's almost a double kill. I'm not sure if he even realizes, but... Chris is lucky, maybe not so <laughs> Not anymore. It all runs out eventually. Has to, right? <laughs> He's trying not even to take a breath inside of that smoke. Just, please. Don't shoot. And Simple will take down Frozen. They're not even looking for it at all. He's still another 10 seconds away from actually firing a bullet. Missed opportunity from Simple. 14 seconds now on the bomb. Yeah, it's going to be planted right here. I think that flag is going to be the big deal. The Wokstick turning around and taking him down. Oh, that was such a long build-up for absolutely nothing.
Flamey goes down and the round collapses for Navi. Uh, wow. Yeah, he's, I mean, what, are you gonna save your up here? Uh, Kerrigan? I'm surprised Kerrigan didn't try and push him and take that weapon out of his hands. He's trying now. Oh! Up in box holes. So Mouse Sports have a chance to readjust if they want to go for it, and they might have to now. That's a huge pick to get. And you can see Electronics still waiting at the back of Old Bomb Train, looking for information out of ladder room, and now he's got it. Now he knows exactly what the end game is. Rocks are frozen versus four, and they've got a long way to go. No smokes, just a couple of flashes. How are they going to get the plant down here? I mean, it's hard to cover everything. A bit of a fight. Oh, Frozen with the double. They definitely had the opportunity. They knew where he was. They could have taken that. Woxic with a headshot. And now it's on simple. One versus two. He gets the scope. And now he's going to run him down with the tech nine. And a bullet will do it. A quad kill for simple in the clutch. I mean, that is... That's an amazing win. All four members of Mouse Sports that are still alive are here, and there's three defenders, although they were just shifting the defense. One more kill for Perfecto, goes back for more, and he didn't have any more teammates to capitalize on the distraction, but Simple with the AWP is here and taken down. Rops with one more through the smoke into a two-on-two, -two, and he's got all three kills for Mouse so far. Absolutely unbelievable. I really didn't think it was going to work out that way. Chris trying to see if he get a chance with the AWP. He's going to fall back slightly further. But Robs has run out of luck in this round. And he's going to finally go down to Flamey. And now it's Chris here. Oh, what a quick shot. Boomich has to get close here and try and see if he get the kill and the defuse right away. He does have a defuse kit. But Chris, oh, he's going to get it. A nice double kill. And that will be the round for Mouse Sports. Some kind of an early warning, they're in trouble. Flamey's gonna go down, and now Frozen has made it back towards spawn side. That's the rotation from Simple, and he just deletes them. Oh, it all comes crashing down for Navi. Boomich and Perfecto against five. I have no idea why Boomich is still alive, and what a, what a beautifully absurd uh, peak coming out from Frozen there. That just, it didn't look like he stopped running. He just he just kept running around the corner, shot him right in the face. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. A little bit like that. He got a little taste of his own medicine. Risk running into that AWP a little bit later on. That could be horrendous. They're starting to creep into this outer yard. Flamey is going to defend it old hell, and he's going to go down with just the pistol. Perfecto going down next, and I mean the... The true shine of having this one AWP and the pistol surely is the is the orb getting the early kills and the pistol sort of helping out later on. When all the pistols are down and the orb is sort of just left alone on its own, it's just not going to have that much of an effect. They don't lose a single player mouse sports. They get to 12 rounds. The bomb is there as well in box halls. Oh, I think he just spotted maybe the other two defenders as well. I, I think they're just going to straight up hit this bomb site. Pop flash off the wall. Simple needs to be involved. Perfecto misses the opportunity. He was spotted out. He was pre-fired. And now he's gone. Simple has not been sprung into action just yet. And he's playing a dangerous game behind this smoke. It's a good kill for Simple, but it's not going to be quite enough here. Man, that opening kill from Rob's inside all the way towards towards A main over there. That's the closest I've ever seen anyone sort of killing someone with an AK while shrugging at the same time. It was so casual. He just did it 13 to 10. They're going to go on to a fifth map. Oh, this HE from Chris is going to be pretty good. Lands on top of them, another one to follow it up, but that's already a couple of people pretty low as they come through. Rob's and Woxic will clean it all up. Actually, Mouse Sports might finally win a pistol round. It might be time for them to do it. Having lost eight pistol rounds in a row here, it feels like it's gone their way. Perfecto in a one versus four, and he goes down. Woxic with a triple. Mouse Sports have done it. Hey, Mouse Sports. I mean, they've had pretty much bad starts to every single map they've played so far. So it'd be nice for them to be able to change that around. Although Chris does go down. Robs is still here and, and could do a lot of damage if he's looking the right way. Looked like he was about to get caught. I think Flamey knows. Oh, close lines him. That is beautiful. Oh, they can actually trap him. But no, they can't get up mid. Frozen held him back for just long enough for Woxic to evacuate. But man, they have all the information. One holes, one are up mid, and that's the only defender at the B bomb site. Now they can just rush back. Woxic's gonna miss a chance. Electronic picks him off, and congratulations. You won the pistol round, but then you stub your toe in the second. This is gonna be a Navi victory. How does this happen? I'm not even sure. They got absolutely wrecked. Rops now in a new position. Oh my god. It's happening. 
Yeah, oh, nice shot from Boomage. Otherwise, that was going to be uh, actually a fairly stacked bomb site. But now at least they could try and get in. Leading the charge up here with the MP9. And he is going to clean it up so nice. It's meant for that kind of work. Exactly. Boxic pushing through, but just with the USP and with Boomage holding it on the other side. Not going to get close. Mouse sports. And he'll be happy about that. That'll help out. Ooh, that is a great flick over. That was fast. Flamey goes down, and it's a five on three. Hard for Navi to turn this into a victory. Not hard for them to do a lot of damage, and that is still going to be something that Mouse Sports will uh, dread. Molotov into the pit to try and force someone out while they're wrapping around Arch, and that is going to be called to an end, that wrap. Nice turnaround from Boomage. Oh my god, great double headshot. He's going to continue. What a triple from Boomage. That was all in the space of three seconds. It could absolutely work out. There's the smoke, but looking right over his Kerrigan, he's going to get the one kill. He's down immediately. Frozen is traded right away. 30 seconds on the clock here, and yeah, Chris, he's just not quite forward enough to be able to get the kill. So it's a three on three. Bomb is down now. This could be huge for Navi. If they win this, they have a lot of advantages moving forward. Here it comes. One flashbang out. Simple drops. Woxic peeking with the AWP. Chris J going to turn the corner. Perfecto still got it. And they don't have time for the defuse, even with the kit. They're going to bail out, and they might lose everything just for the attempt, but Woxic saves the day. Yeah, that was a very, very important kill coming through, saving that AWP. It would have been a disaster if they would have lost that too. Like this push from Robs. They have this one M for I mean, this is all in. And he's going to get the kill on Boomich. That's not quite enough. He needs to do a bit more or try and escape. He's still pushing forward. And Perfecto, actually, with a Mac 10 he could do this, Robs. Backup is there. That's Kerrigan charging in. Oh! He'll take down Simple. What a beautiful, aggressive round out of Mouseboard so far. Yeah, this is the round to take a risk like that when it's all you've got. And Navi get caught sleeping. Flamey, one versus four. Now three in the op is going to put him to sleep. Four to three. Nothing seems ever good enough for you, Enders, in these rounds. No, it can't have, can't have enough fireworks ever. They needed more. Well, I, I think they needed a new angle of the fireworks, not not necessarily more fireworks. Yeah, there's probably some. If you made a graph, right? At some point, if you scale to have enough, it will it will work. Okay. Yeah. This has got to be a save. Surely, surely they don't try and hit the B-bomb site with this much time left. Well, it is Navi. They they may in fact be trying to do that. Smoking up in front here. Six seconds on the clock and the bomb. Oh, and it's not going to be around at all. No chance. I don't even know. Gonna be very, very hard a hold here. Oh, everyone coming up right at the same time. Simple getting a kill. Oh, Carrick. Oh, sorry, Woxic trying to follow it up. And Chris showing up, I think, just at the right time. And that might have been exactly what they needed. Could have been an interesting two on two here at the end. But Chris will close it out. An expensive round. And I think one that could have got out of Mouse Sports Control. I mean, 30 seconds is like an hour Rubbish. to them, but you still have to be worried. Yeah, oh no, they fail the run boost, and that just kind of drops them right in front of Kerrigan. Now the crossfire is set up, and they are getting murdered inside of that. That's a three-for-one trade with 18 seconds now. They actually will get the bomb plant down, but how do they hold this? It's a great duel of electronic and simple, but it's still... Finally going to be pushing forward, but that took a little bit of time. And if he goes down here, it actually could be interesting. Although, simple look at the wrong... Oh, he still turns for it. That is a nice turnaround. He's going to be dropped, and so will Electronic. And that's an eighth round in favor of Mouse Sports. Mouse Sports have only won one out of nine pistol rounds so far. See if they could do more. Electronic oh. shooting the wall and then getting taken right down. It's inside of the bomb side now. Two members of Navi defending. There's the CC. Actually, it's perfecto, but the return is amazing. And Mouse Sports on track to do it once again. Oh, Boomich has something to say about that, though. He's got to come in through the smoke. Surely he's been spotted. He couldn't get through quick enough. Good heads up play from Chris J. But there's Rops. The CZ from Palace and they're from Halls, and they've done it. A second pistol round in the best of five series. It feels like they're investigating for information that they just can't find. That is a very cool timing, and it almost worked. You know, I've seen Furia do that a lot. That kind of play where they, it's really, really cool. I absolutely love it. Chris, ah, he really wanted to beat the timing. I think if he hadn't been shot in his little toes all the way through it, maybe it worked out, but it did slow him down quite a bit. So now it's a 5 on 3 with 15 seconds left on the clock, and they are getting picked apart here, Mouse Sports. It's a bit of a shame. 
Oh, good shot from Rops, but yeah, no time remaining in the round, and it's all over. All Navi can do now is give up weapons that they don't want to rebuy, so no need to... <laughs> Not so clear. All right, smoke halfway up. Boom it. She's going to get one and add Chris J on top of it. Nate is out. Good early defensive banana. And Kerrigan never knew that Boomage fell back. He got pulled into that peak. And now, quickly, it's a five on two. I mean, he had one kill like eight or nine rounds into that first half. He's up to seven. He's risen the ranks of his team very quickly. Flamey's going to get one more. Woxic, the last remaining. He will find Flamey. 27 seconds in a one versus three. Yeah, I don't think he realizes there's already another player right here. Simple, but he's not going to peek it. He wants to be absolutely sure. Woxic? Oh, yeah. No, I don't think he saw it. I'm sure it the scope. teammate. It might have been the scope as well. Yeah, you're right. Just hearing it on the other side. And Simple will still take him down. Uh, that's... Uh... This uh, quad side could very, very easily get pushed apart so that everyone is fighting all at uh, all on their own. Perfecto, he's just getting run down. He's trying to put these grenades up. Was it in time anyway? Oh, Simple showing up to help out. That, I actually can't believe it. Looked like they were about to get completely destroyed in that A-bomb site. I think if they had had one kill on the entrance the first time around their mouse sports, then it all falls apart. But they got slowed down and killed instead. This time, all five players survived. Or excuse me, the first time four players survived, and it's it's happened again. Four more players survive again. Frozen is calling out. He hears the scope. That's simple. And it's going to be another free kill. Just as he turns, Frozen's got it. Back towards CT spawn. He doesn't realize there's one more. Oh, that could be it. That could be everything. Electronic and Perfecto both here, and they've walked right into the trap. Hero, if he could do this just with a deagle, they know where he's coming from. They've already heard that first shot. There's a bit of a shoulder peak coming out, and he's gonna get dropped by electronic. Nice triple, and now V somehow stay alive. Strong of this attack has to pick up the pace to try and exploit that rotation, but I think they missed the window. Yeah, I mean, the smoke that was down to be there. I mean, how did they get through? They're trying their very best, but still taking a lot of damage. Good backup from Flamey, I think, just helping Boomage. He might have been dead otherwise. Now they're falling back with 40 seconds, but usually he's not going to miss, you know, a couple of shots here. If he just gets one, I think the round is probably over. And now hiding inside of the bomb side to help him out is perfect. So there's simple lightning fast to take down Chris J. And the rest, I mean, they're frozen in place. They don't know where to go. Another <laughs> kill for simple. And he wants another one. All on his own is Woxnick. And he realizes he is in a lot of trouble here. Simple staying alive for another second. It'll be perfect to clean up the round. Flamey was inside the bomb side. He went towards spawn side because Boomage has the smoke left if he needed to rotate away. Boomage is going to throw that pop flash. It might be a little late. Although Kerrigan eats it full force. Boomage can't find the kills, but they're both so blind. And he's only got the one. Massive damage dealt, but it's going to be a retake. And that's a bit of a shame. Navi being very slow here with the retake. And now they finally begin to set it up. Low and health for mouse sports. And Navi, this is their big chance to finally close it up. But it's not working at all. Electronic trying to fight its way in. And we're going to overtime. A triple kill for Chris J. Looks like a delayed, oh, delayed retake maybe, but ah, Kerrigan's all the way up. Oh, Flamey's in so much trouble. Rotation is a long ways off. Flamey's got to stand his ground and fight. He's got Frozen. Kerrigan wrapping from behind, and Flamey can just commit to this. He's got one more. That's brilliant. A four on two. Woxic is in the site with the bomb. It's a bit of a prayer at this point in time. There is the bomb plant finally going through, and... Oh, no! He got him unscoped through the smoke and through the box to take down Woxic. What a disgusting kill. <laughs> Just simple things. Rops, one versus four. And with a player coming from Banana, two from Main, and one going to be coming from Construction eventually, it was just impossible. So they're not gonna have to worry about the. Uh, well, they might actually. Simple might be pushing through right away. I think he's just pushed through the smoke already. Perfecto and Electronic both down in the pit, but one has gone down. Electronic, he's gonna get helped by Simple. Yeah, there was Simple pushing through the smoke, and that might uh, be a little bit of a problem now. 25 seconds with the bomb down in pit. That Molotov is not gonna clear him out. He's just gonna smoke it off and stay hidden inside. 20 seconds now. Frozen coming through with a big kill, and Electronic waiting down here. Backup is almost there. Flamey about to shoot them in the back. He's gonna find the lineup against one and it's a one-on-one -on -one. 10 seconds and Ooh. it's electronic finding it the third kill to win both those rounds in the first half of overtime on the other hand he's got 21 kills and he's oh no server. oh boom it she wants to beat the timing yeah that smoke he's gonna push through that every single time turns for the grenade and what an entrance from boomage that was actually pure art wasn't it
That was a bold decision making from Frozen that gets punished. Holding onto the. Oh my god! How is this happening? How is nobody watching for that whatsoever? Navi might still recover, but this is near disaster. It's right on the edge. Two players in ruins and construction simple is burning. 60 HP, turning the corner, missed shot. Kerrigan now pouncing again. He's done it one more time. The captain trying to keep Mouse Sports in this, and it's just Chris J. Yes, it is. The bomb not down yet. Seven seconds. They are not both picking him. Oh, there it is. Flamey taking him down, and that will be the victory here. Your gamers without borders, champions are Navi.